all this unclaimed property throughout the state that you're eligible, that you can see if you have out there that you can apply, if you can prove that you that it's your property, you can get it. Well, I went and looked on on the website. The city had twelve hundred dollars out there that was unclaimed for, for something I don't even know what it's from. It's something from Kmart. I have no I have no expl I have no explanation other than that. And we were able to get I was actually even able to find fifty bucks for myself, but we were able to get twelve hundred dollars for that. So it probably well it had the middle initial. It was the bank I had when I was a kid. Okay. So yes, Greg. Did you check for other council members? Yeah, I, if you want, I can. I'll, I'll be happy to look. Sure. Ten percent or what? I will. You know what? I'll even do it for free. <laughs> well, I thought you were sure it was just No. You don't have evaluation. Um. That's off the rails. Yes. Um. Dan and Dave are working on. We're working on. In addition to next year, we're, we're working on putting up. We do the Amity Street project. Um, we're also looking at Valley in the Valley Vista area. It looks like we're going to we're, we're going to have funds available to do Jane Ellen Street next summer. Um, so we're working we're working on that. We're going to be coming back to you pretty soon on that. Um, also, I'm still researching event uh, center agreements that are out there with municipalities and, uh, and whoever runs their event centers. So for the show vote, I'm hoping to come back with more information in the next council meeting about this so we can start planning that. Um, we're trying to address a number of traffic concerns in the downtown district. Um, we met with Councilman Yankovic about three, four weeks ago, and I know we've been trying to address those as best we can, um, and we'll still continue to try. Um, October 19th, um, we are at the, that council meeting, we're going to have a presentation for you um, about our plan for the Washington and Monroe utility projects we'd like to do in 2022. 2023. Um, and one last thing, um, I was informed two weeks ago that our uh, administrative assistant, Leanne Wisniewski, is going to uh, retire on October 16th. Uh, we are not looking to refill that position, um, so we're going to we're going to work on that internally and how we're going to reallocate that work. But I do want to thank her for her years of service. She did a number, she's worked in the city a number of years, and she's going to be missed. And that's all I have. Okay. Appointments. I have been uh, asked by uh, Mayor Moore to talk about um, offering Ashley Dunn the spot on the Harbor Board. Um, her uh, resume was in there. Uh, we do have an opening. So if it's all right and consensus, we could uh, reach out to her and she if she can want to take that, that position on the Harbor Board. Jim, was she the only one who applied for that? Yeah, there, we've had very few people apply at all, according to Mike and I spoke about 20 minutes. Tonight, uh, and, and they're just not coming in. Okay. She, she applied for other things too, but this is the only one that's open right currently okay. for that part. Um, so, on favor, I'll let Mike know if that's good with everybody here. Yeah, yep, yep. Uh, the other one has been open for a while. There, there's an opening on a park and rec. Uh, again, the, the only individual that put in his name for that was Todd Shaw. And so Mike asked me to ask you guys if it's all right to appoint uh, Todd Shaw on the Parks and Rec Board. Don't see anybody jumping up and down, arm shaking. Yeah. I don't have a problem with it. I, I think he's uh, they're moving forward with their project there and they have an interest in the parks. We struggle to find citizens that are interested in serving and you've got somebody that's stepping up and I accept that and congratulate them. Marty? Yeah, I kind of agree. You know, people, when they want to do it, I believe in the end. Can't hold the past against everybody. That's my belief, so I'm good with them. Okay, I'll talk to, to Mike about that. Other than that, that is so with that, we'll start with council comments. Marty? Okay. So this lady sitting right here approached me two Thursdays ago at 4.30 in the evening and said, hey, I got a favor to ask you. I went, really? Can you put on a drive-in game at, or drive-in at the fairgrounds to, to do Pink Arrow? Uh, I took the challenge. Uh, I'm very happy to say tonight that we are a go. 
daylight was going to be our biggest issue and we found out that this custom rig that is coming in to be custom built for us for that evening uh, they did us really i mean they're just basically giving it to us for free at a rental prop as far as rental breaks go we found out that our projection camera didn't have enough warmth to do it in the sunlight and we were told we needed this camera that can basically at one o'clock in the afternoon we can hold the drive in movie. It's, it's that strong and it can project. Uh, but it was five thousand dollars. As of today, uh, we received word that uh, Dave uh, Dave Van Kulen found us a camera not, or a projector now that we can use in Grand Rapids. Uh, I gave the okay to go ahead and go get the thing. Uh, so Pink Arrow is going to be start to finish. Should be a whole lot of fun. Uh, anybody would like to help out, please contact me. Uh, you can get a hold of me through the city webpage. I think my phone number is on there, isn't it? Just your email address. Just my email. So you can email me. Um, and if there's any corporations that would still like to donate to this cause, it's a wonderful cause. It's 13 years. Uh, it's the brainchild of Coach Dean. Uh, to wear pink jerseys to start all this off and for 13 years it's going to happen so I'm very proud to be part of that and if any corporate sponsors would like to help us out we'd be more glad to take your money uh, if not we just need uh, some more bodies uh, to help out Mark, so tell me what the event you're going to be televising. Yeah, so game, what it is is, is, is... What else is all involved? Well, okay, I, Party food. when she asked me, I said, sure, this ought to be easy. You just put something into something and it pops <laughs> out. We literally had to reach out to Dave, and Dave got us IT people. We're going to be in the press box with two of our own people. We basically plug into the side of Al's in a remote port. We take it to ourselves. They add, they mix uh, audio with video. They stream it to me down here to the fairgrounds. We in turn then take it and play it. The the school runs on a four and a half minute delay. We're literally just barely over a minute delay. So we're actually going to be quicker uh, to get. We have to have that audio delay for twenty thirty seconds. I know it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the audio, my brother Mikey and I, when we did the comedy show, uh, we purchased a little half-watt radio station, and it's a whole lot of fun to own your own little radio station, but that's the same station we're going to be using down there to transmit. The sound will come across your car, uh, in your radio in your car. Uh, we do ask that if anybody attends, please stay in your car, uh, practice social distancing, Wear your mask. I know Pink Arrow's bringing in some uh, food trucks. They'll have t-shirt sales that day. If you wear your shirts in, you're in for free. We'll park you and be happy to have you. If you just want to come and don't want to buy the shirts, it's $40 a car load. <laughs> um, and we're still good with that. So however they come, they come. I would personally love to see 500 cars <laughs> in that fairgrounds from the uh, cow barns all the way to the river. Uh, it's just been very exciting to do this. Uh, the, the sponsors that we currently have are amazing for stepping up this late in the year to have any money left in their budget. So and we truly do appreciate it. And also, uh, Al Ekman has been a big part of it. Yep. Um, again, when football was going to be on, then it was canceled, and and they looked. There were some grants available to get this camera that's able to um, follow at the stadium. So they were able to, through a grant, be able to get this. So it, it's it's a combination of a whole lot of people behind the scenes making yep. this work. Yeah, it's a pixel lot, right? Pixel lot. So camera. Not, like you would know what a pixel lot camera is. It's like what the NFL and all them guys have. Yep. It literally follows everything on the field. It's got like five cameras in one. Uh, it even communicates with the scoreboard and if you download the app and you pay your money to be part of it uh, you'll you'll have a ticker right on top just like all the others that keeps you to the minute and everything is going on it's a really cool process thank you marty mr cliff okay sure 
like to thank the chief and the LPD for listening to the citizens and doing what they can do. I read this morning, the first week they had 19 stops and seven tickets. And hopefully the message will get out that you can't speed down Main Street, then we can work on the other ones. So thanks a lot, chief. Um, I'd just like to thank Mike Burns for doing a great job for us financially. Um, these have been really trying times, and I know I've kind of been critical of some, just I'm so afraid of what is coming, in, and it's great that you've applied for all these things and this money's coming in, and I think you did a, a great job with the budget of, of shaving every dime off that you could, and I just want to say thanks for doing what you're doing, because I, I think we're in, it looks like better shape than I thought we would be based on what was coming down the pipe, but you've done a great job. Thank you. That's great. Uh, I actually got nothing but just get out and support this Friday, December, uh, September 25th, right guys? Yep. yep. So let's get out there and do that part of it. And with that, I'll look for a motion to adjourn, Cliff. Uh, uh, I make a motion to adjourn. I'll support. All right, all in favor, say aye. 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 Thanks for coming. <laughs>